Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, next, I'm going to explain to you about the break-even computation, but now using the graphical technique. Okay, using the graph. Okay, uh, we will look into the traditional break-even graph, the contribution break-even graph, and profit volume graph. So we are still using the same example. Okay, you have the selling price of twenty ringgit per unit. Your variable cost is eight ringgit per unit. Your annual fixed cost is sixty thousand. Currently, you are selling at eight thousand units. So we are doing the graphical technique. So you prepare this one. The graph that I have asked you to do before. Okay, so you for your x axis, you prepare for your uh, uh, a level of production at zero, your four thousand, eight thousand, and twelve thousand. That is your level of sales. Okay, um, then you prepare your sales line. Your sales line is twenty x. That means tw uh, x is the quantity, uh, twenty ringgit per unit, twenty ringgit per unit. If you uh, sell zero units, that means your uh, sales or total revenue will be zero. If your uh, sales is four thousand units and your uh, selling price is twenty ringgit per unit, so twenty times four thousand gives you eighty thousand. And you do for the rest of the column, okay? And then for your total variable cost line, so total variable cost, your variable cost per unit is eight ringgit. So eight ringgit times with your, uh, for example, if you are uh, selling uh, or producing 4,000 units. So, 4,000 units times 8 give you 32,000. Your total fixed cost, so your total fixed cost remain constant. We assume in the short run, your total fixed cost remain unchanged or constant. Therefore, if you don't produce anything or you don't sell anything, you still need to incur your total fixed cost. That's why your total fixed cost is uh, at 60,000 even if your output is zero regardless of the number of outputs that you have so if you have four thousand or even eight thousand or twelve thousand your total fixed cost remain constant at sixty thousand okay next you draw up your total cost line so total cost you know is your consists of your variable cost and your fixed cost so total cost is your variable cost plus your fixed cost so you have your variable cost, for example, look at this column, your variable cost is 0, your fixed cost is 60, so your total will be 60,000. Uh, here, for example, your total cost is, uh, to, so your total variable cost is 32, your uh, total fixed cost is 60, so 32 plus 60 gives you 92,000 and so on. And you have your profit, so profit is calculated as your sales minus your total cost. So your sales, sales is 0 minus your total cost 60 so you will have negative 60 or you are making a loss of 60,000 if you have in this uh, in this level so at 4,000 for example your sales is 80,000 so 80,000 minus your cost 92,000 your total cost 92,000 that gives you a negative figure of 12 that is you are making losses of 12,000 and so on you do for the rest of it once you have completed this then you need to draw a graph so take your graph paper so draw the uh, y axis is your cost or, re or revenue in rm and your x axis is your level of activity or the sales units okay so uh, have your sorry have your graph paper okay draw it so you 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 draw it properly okay use a ruler draw it you have your x axis and y axis so this one will be your quantity this one will be your rm that will be your cost or your revenue then you need to draw your it starts from zero then you need to draw up your total cost line sorry you need to draw up your total revenue line so this one is your total rev you this is your total revenue line okay or, or your sales line so your sales line or your total revenue line so you will have this so you draw up your total revenue line so so you draw up your total revenue line it starts from zero so you have this one do it properly what if your quantity is zero what if your quantity is four thousand eight thousand and twelve thousand so appropriately identify if zero four thousand eight thousand 
and 12,000 for example. So you have that or you can have a, a bigger scale. Okay. If you want to have a bigger scale, you draw it. Uh, you can draw it. No. You can have a bigger scale. You do your skill accordingly. Next, you will start with your total revenue line. So draw your total revenue line. So you you take the coordinate that you have. So if your sales is zero, your revenue is zero. If let's say your uh, sales is four thousand, your total revenue will be eighty thousand. So you can draw that. So you can have maybe this one is forty. Maybe this one is eighty. thousand and eighty thousand so it starts from zero you have four thousand okay four thousand and eighty thousand and you do for the rest of it okay you do for the rest of it this one you draw up your total sales line so you have eight thousand and hundred and sixty thousand you have eight thousand and hundred maybe you can have a, a smaller uh, a smaller scale on your y axis so, on. so you draw up your lines okay just to sum it up after after you have draw all this axis that means i want you to draw your sales line you need to draw your total variable cost line your fixed cost line okay and your total cost line okay after you have done that okay i just summarize it up okay this is your cvp graph okay so you will have this one is your level of activity just now. This one is your uh, uh, cost or revenue. Okay, your cost or revenue. And this one is your total revenue line just now. The green one. The green one is your total revenue line. Okay, it starts from zero. Okay, you, uh, you do accordingly based on using the graph paper. This one is your total revenue line. Next, you draw your total cost line. Okay, you draw up your total cost line. You can also draw up your variable cost line. This is what I want you to just ex ex express everything on one graph. Okay, you draw up your variable cost line. And this one is your fixed cost line. Okay, it, uh, your fixed cost is 60,000. Okay, 60,000. So throughout, if you don't produce anything, you, your production is zero, your fixed cost remains at 60,000. So it doesn't start from zero, but it starts from 60,000. But your total revenue starts from zero, your variable cost starts from zero, but your total cost starts from 60,000. You see from the, uh, this one, uh, you see the total revenue line, it starts from zero, your total variable cost line starts from zero, your fixed cost remains at 60,000 even if your quantity is zero you still have to incur your fixed cost of 60,000 but your total cost total cost is variable cost plus your fixed cost so your total cost line starts from your fixed cost actually it starts from your total fixed cost that is your 60,000 okay so here you have your total cost line so total cost is your variable cost plus your fixed cost so once you have done that I want to. I want you to go. Uh, uh, take your ruler down. Okay, go to the level of activity. You find that when your total revenue intersect your total cost line. That means this one, the green line intersect with the red line. What do you have? That is your break even point. Because we know at break even point, at break even point, total revenue equals to total uh, cost. Okay, so when the line intercept, okay, the, when the, the two lines intercept, that means this is your break-even point. Okay, this is your break-even point. That means total revenue equals to your total cost. So this is the break-even point. Total revenue equals to your total cost. 
so you take that down you take that down that gives you 5000 units so that 5000 units is your break even point in quantity if you go to the left hand side so take it here to your y axis so if you take that to your y axis that will get do on a proper scale okay so uh, that will give you 100 Thousand. That 100,000 is actually your break-even point in value. Is that clear? Okay. So, you can work out your break-even chart. Okay. You can work out your break-even point using the graphical method. So, graphical method also gives you the same answer. So, remember this one? You can work out this example. All these things will give you the same answer you can work out using the equation technique you can work out using the contribution technique you can also work out using the graphical technique to compute your break even okay so all these three methods will give you the same answer so here you can see uh, if you want to do it graphically so first you need to do this one you complete your table first because you need at least two points okay at least two points because this uh, these are straight lines so straight lines at least you have you need to have two points okay you need to have two points then you can uh, extrapolate or expand your lines okay you don't need to up to four four points just that i want for exercise i want you to have to make it up to four points okay uh that is your break even point next i want you to to, uh, I, I also want to explain to you about the margin of safety that we have looked just now. So, what is margin of safety? Margin of safety is basically the difference between your current sales or your planned sales, plan or your current sales, your current sales and your sales at BEP. Your sales at BEP. Okay, here... How many units are you producing? Look at the example. In the example, present sales is 8,000 units. So, you are now working at 8,000 units. You are working at 8,000 units. So, 8,000 units is somewhere here above the 5,000. So, this is your current sales, 8,000 units. From there, the difference between 8,000 and 5,000, that means... 3,000, that 3,000 difference is actually your margin of safety. Okay, that is actually your margin of safety. So, margin of safety is the difference between your uh, current sales and your break-even sales. That is if you work that out in units. So, if you work that out in units, so this one, the difference of 3,000, you read from the x exists that is your margin of safety if you want to work out your margin of safety in value then look at your y axis so from your y axis this one okay so this one is the difference between so this is the difference so you look at how how many how much is it uh you have to Okay, just now we see if your ma margin of sale at 8,000 units, your sales is 160,000, right? Here, your sales is 160,000 at 8,000 units, your sales is 160,000. So, 160,000, the difference between your uh, current sales and your BEP sales. Your BEP is 100,000 just now. So, the difference of 60,000 is your margin of safety in value. What is meant by margin of safety? So, margin of safety indicates the uh, quantity or the amount that you can reduce before you suffer any losses. So, which is the area of your profit and which is the area of your losses? So, you see here when you talk about the break even point that means you are making no profit and no losses but if you are saying that uh, you are making above that you are making profit so this is your area of profit okay this is the area of profit okay this is the area of profit okay this one is profit because uh, okay uh, the what about the losses so this is the area of your losses so this one is the area of your losses
So this is the area of your losses. Okay. So anything above your bring even point meaning you are making profit. Anything below your bring even point. Okay, anything below break even point, you are making losses. Why is that? So take a vertical distance. What do I mean by vertical distance? Just take any line. Okay, for example, you are taking this line. Okay, take a vertical distance. Okay, this is your line, for example. You are taking this line. Okay, you look. What, what happens here? Here is your total revenue line. And what is this? This is your total cost. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, this is your total cost line. So now you see your revenue is lower than your cost. So when your revenue is lower than your cost, that means you are making a loss. What about the other way around? If let's say taking a vertical distance here. So this one, you see, this one is your total revenue and this one is your total cost. That means your revenue is more than your cost if your revenue is more than your cost of course you are making profit okay so that is the area of profit and this one is the area of losses next i want to explain to you about the angle of incidence okay angle of incidence okay angle of incidence is actually this one okay this is your angle of incidence this is your angle of incidence. Okay, that one is your angle of incidence. That means you are looking at the, this one, the line of your total revenue and the, your total cost line. Okay, that we have seen before. That is the area of angle of incidence. This is the area of your margin of safety. Okay, next, uh, in the next video, I will continue with your break-even chart.